hello everyone welcome back in the previous video we created our post blade and uh, i want to uh, submit this form in the database and uh, yeah our post table is there so we pre-configured them in the previous video if you if you uh, want to watch this video i will add the link in the description so let's go to this create blade and i want to name uh, of my input field so this is the name field so i want to give it a name so i name this name and this is the email so i will name this like email so you need to make a name descriptive right so it's so easy to understand for you and uh, remember you need to uh, make this button type submit so then it will submit our form and in the form you need to type method method is post because we are posting something in our database and what is the action action means where our form will go so i want to i want to go to this uh, store method so this is the post and uh, if i type this uh, slash store right so it will hit this store method right so let me open it for you it's a little bit confusing for you so it's the command is php artisan route list now i want to open uh, i want to send request to store method so it's a post slash store so our url will be post so remember we are uh, returning an index method from this get request but for now we have this post request so what is the difference between get and post when we are getting something uh, from the server we use get method but when we are sending something on the server we use post method like we are submitting our form to the server right so this is our post right so what is the manual route for this uh, i am adding this for your adding this for you so the route will be uh, post post slash store right and uh, when we uh, hit this route in the resource controller this will execute uh, this method this store right so let's go here and test it and uh, it's a uh, post slash store is exist to uh, there we check this in our uh, oh it's not a post stores it let me make a manual route for you so it should be a uh, oops route and now it's not a get route it's a post route right so it should be post and here you need to find this post right and in the previous we are getting our form from this uh, get method so only difference is this is the get route and this is the post route so let me close this out and make this manual for you because it's uh, uh, hard to read uh, hard to know for the beginners so let's put here uh, post and then we need to pass here uh, the name is uh, what's the name it's a post controller and the second argument i want to open this uh, uh, in the uh, create right and i want to name this like uh, post dot create right save this one and now it's hitting this create method so let's type this in the web browser your this post and yes it's i'm running from the post and uh, oh i need to make this uh, slash create because uh, uh, we are opening this create page and uh, we are executing this create method here so let me go there and create method is returning a view here let's go here and type here slash create okay create and hit enter and now our route is opened right so in the previous we are opening this route uh, by using resource but uh, now we are opening this uh, from a manual route right and now i want to make uh, another route which is a post route so let me put here a post request because we are posting something to the server 
so it's a post and i want to post something i don't want to pass here slash store right so you can and uh, name it any which you want so it's a post controller and the controller uh, and it's going to store method and the name is uh, post dot store right post dot store and in the con controller we have a store method there right this one so this is accepting a request what it does so we can uh, fetch all the input field by this request object right so let me request uh, return something right return uh, running store save this one and uh, let's go here in the create form and here i want to submit this form on the store right so here you need to define you can do this by url or you can use this uh, route so i am doing this by url for now okay and the url is now i want to post this to this post okay copy this post and type here post right now our form is submitting on this post when we uh, send our request to the server so it will execute this route and this route will execute this uh, store method right so let's go here and give it refresh and submit this form and now it's not going to work why it's not going to work it says page expired 411 419 why it's throwing this error because this is the security of laravel laravel accept uh, a token here in the form so if you did not do not pass a token so it will not submit the form so how you can add a token there right so let me go there and uh, show to you that uh, how our form is look like uh, it's uh, and uh, yes this is our form and this is our div so let me add a token there so it's a csrf token you can add this by blade or you can uh, add this by this csrf token it's same right and you can also pass this in the hidden field so save this one and refresh this web page and uh, open this uh, using inspect element okay and uh, now you can see this it's a uh, hidden fields is added and its name is slash token and uh, the token value is generated there right so now our form will be submitted so let's go here and submit this form and yes it's now running the store it means that our store method is running right so and uh, now the time is to get the values of text field so we are running this store method and uh, our all you know, input fields will be added uh, will be injected from this request so let me uh, put here a request and there is a helper function which is all so it will uh, receive all the uh, all the input fields there so i am returning all the input fields which are coming from this form right so go back and uh, give it a refresh and let me put a name here and submit so it says the token is this the name is this one and the email is this and the password is this so it means that we are returning all of our inputs there so we su successfully submit our form into this post route this post route and uh, we are receiving them in the controller so in the future video we will save them into the database it's very simple so stay connected for the next video bye bye